welcome back to the channel. Those of you who are current subscribers, thank you for coming again. And newcomers, go ahead and push that red subscribe and join the family. All right, people, we're cooking again. We've got some broccoli. It was frozen. And, of course, everything else will be fresh. I just didn't want to go all the way back to the store just for broccoli. And you know me, I like to use what's in the refrigerator. We've got some fresh mushrooms, uh, problano pepper, red pepper, and avocado. May use more than one. We got a um, head of cabbage. And what we're going to do for the meats is I've got a leftover hot dog, a beef hot dog. Got a leftover piece of turkey sausage, and we got a couple of slices of turkey pastrami. And we're just gonna dice all that up and make that our meat. But right now, we're gonna get to cutting up our uh, vegetables. We're putting the broccoli in as is. It'll be okay for the florets to be kind of big. And then, like I said, we're going to get ready to start cutting up the rest of the items that are going in our stir fry. I'm going to go ahead and work on this cabbage, cutting it up. Cut, pull the layers, and I'll pull off. One thing I love about um, the grocery store when you buy vegetables or anything, they peel off the unwanted outside. I mean, they sell you the best part of the vegetable, any vegetable that you're getting. You get like the best of it. So you don't really have any waste of your vegetables when you buy them. You know me, I might cut off a few parts that are kind of dark. But other than that, you pretty much use all that you buy. Okay. getting this cut up so it can go on in the pot and we're just gonna stick that in there with uh, with the um, broccoli because the broccoli is already in the pot so we're just continuing to cut up what vegetables that we have and sticking those over in the pot And remember, when we're cooking the vegetables, we don't want the vegetables to go to mush. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're cooking the vegetables. You know, I think that's going to be plenty of cabbage. So that was about half of a head of cabbage. That's about all you'll need. And then we'll get the rest of this cut up and stick this over in the pot. Let's put this in there. There we go. And let's get on that problano. What I do if I'm not using the um, purified water to wash my vegetables, I will rinse them off with the regular water. And then I dry them to make sure none of that water is left over on it. I'm going to go ahead and get this. I prefer the poblano pepper to the other pepper just because it has a, a slight sweet taste to it. Okay, so I'm finished cutting up this um, poblano pepper, like I was telling you. Now you can cut it to whatever size you want. When I'm doing a stir fry, Sometimes I'll make the pieces big and sometimes I won't. It just kind of depends. Seeing as the pieces of cabbage are not real little and neither is the broccoli, I can leave most of the pieces a nice size. And I'm just going to put that in there and then we're going to cut up our red pepper. Now like I said, you know, in, the, in Mexico you can't drink the water out the faucet. You know, you wash up with it. But I don't brush my teeth with it, anything. So when I rinse my vegetables with this water, I will dry them off before I use them just to make sure that I'm still not getting any of that water. 
Yeah, unless I rinse them with my purified water. So, I want at least half of that red pepper. Had some type of little beetle bug. Yeah, when you get fresh vegetables, be prepared. You might see a bug. Yeah, that happens. Um, bugs and vegetables normally go together, or fruit or anything for that matter, because they come from outside. So don't be alarmed if you see a bug or two. Just get him off of there and rinse it, and you'll be just fine. Which they do have um, sell crickets. I had a neighbor, she offered me some crickets, and I told her, no thank you. Um, that wasn't for me. No, I, I'm good on crickets. I'm good on any bug. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that one. Okay. Now, if when you're adding your peppers and things, and when you look in the pot, and you feel like, you might need some more peppers. I told you, everything's to flavor and to whatever you like. So if you feel like you need some more peppers, toss some more in there. You know, cut up some more. Toss it on in there. It's not. It won't be a problem. So, I think that might. Huh? Put a couple more in here. As far as the red peppers go. And now I'm going to cut up my mushrooms. I'm in a mushroom mood today. So I'm going to put quite a bit of mushrooms in there. At least half the bag that I had. I'm going to use quite a few. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to leave them kind of big too. So the mushrooms I may cut in fours. But I'm not going to downsize them very much yeah they can be apparent I'm okay with them in full view so you yeah, know we'll just cut those in four yeah so you don't have to but like I said whatever your preference is it's just as good you know the mushrooms are there so the flavor is there and that's what counts Okay. I really like how my kitchen is set up. It's really neat because I have a little window here. So I can cook and look outside and I get some of that natural light too while I'm cooking. So that makes it really nice. Yeah, that's real nice. Okay. Got those mushrooms in there. Now we want to add our avocado. There you go. Pop that right out. Let's get us a spoon. Spoon to me is the best way to take the avocado out. Look at there. Just simplifies your life. Yeah, just simplifies your life. All right. And we'll take and spoon the other side of the avocado out. And that one's out. And we're ready to go ahead and slice that up and put that in. All right, flip the other one over and do the same. Okay, slice it and you can turn it and then just slice down the other side. We're going to pick that up, just put that in our pan. Yeah, put that right on in there. And we need to get us some onion going. Once we get the onion going, we'll be about done with the ingredients that need to go in the pot. Yeah. Just love it when I add the avocado. It just, I don't know, it takes it to a whole nother level of richness. Just gives it that really rich flavor. Okay. And any leftover in there, you can that out and use that too. You know, we don't waste anything. Or at least we try not to. Yeah. 
Yeah, got all of that out of there in the pit. There we go. Okay. Save that piece. Okay, now we'll go to getting our onion. Got a bowl of onions already. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Get some of this onion. Take that one. All the smaller pieces, we can go ahead and take those and use them. Yeah. I, I love onion. If you're like me, you may end up using it all. But like I said, these pieces of vegetables don't have to be small. Stir fry I'm cooking is pretty robust. So the pieces are a little bit bigger. That will be just fine. Okay. I'm going to start adding these up in here. Alrighty. Putting these in the pot. Okay. Is that enough onion or do we need to go ahead and add the rest? I think I, I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of it in there. We packed the pot. So the pot is to the rafters. And as you can see, let me let you see, the pot is pretty full. Now we've got all the vegetables in the pot. It's pretty full. There you go. There's the avocado, the red peppers, poblanos. Everything's in there now. So it's pretty full, but we're going to go ahead and put the top on this and put it on low and start moving it around and then I'll add some oil to get the stir fry going. All right, while we're waiting on the vegetables to get hot, we're taking out all our meats that we collected up out the refrigerator. I told you we had a little turkey pastrami. We had a whole link of turkey sausage. So we have one whole link of that. Yeah, oh, that smells good. A link of that, and then we had a one of the Capistrano Select Res hot dogs left, and we're going to utilize that. And that smells awesome too. Well, this is what we're going to use for our meat. This uh, turkey pastrami has that peppered on it, so I'm going to cut it up real small so it'll go all through the mix, making you know, using it kind of like one of our seasonings because of that pepper that's on there that's really nice. Okay, and we're just going to cut the other meats up too. There we go. Right, got that hot dog cut up, and now we're gonna do the turkey sausage. Since it's pretty big, I think we might cut it. Well, no, yeah, it'll be okay. Just cut it in half and then slice it down the side. Okay, so this is something quick and easy, and you can. You know, you know me, I like to clean out my refrigerator and throw everything in there that hasn't been used. Throw it on in there. Okay, so now we've got all of our meat cut up. Now I do have a pan on the side for this meat because you know me. I like to put a burn on any meat that I'm going to use. I like it to have a little burn to it. I just think it brings out... The flavor in the meat is a lot better when you do it like that. Okay, we've got the pan on and we're just going to start adding some of the meat to the pan. We don't really have any oil in there. I may decide to add a little oil to it. But the purpose of this is to put a burn on the meat. So Okay. Around in it, felt like 
like I said, we get a little burn on this meat. Yeah. I think I will add just a little bit of oil to this. Not much. I guess that's probably a tablespoon. Yeah. Now I've done this even with like, you have leftover roast, leftover chicken even, just cut it off the bone and whatever meat you get together, you're gonna put that meat in the skillet with a tablespoon or less of oil and just put a little burn on it. Now, I had the turkey pastrami that had the pepper, so it already had some seasoning, so I'm not really gonna add anything else to the other than the I use for this, okay? So that's why you seem adding anything to the meat. And just like you, if you've left over in your refrigerator, it's probably already been pre-seasoned for whatever you previously used it for. And we want to watch our salt so when you're using that type of meat, it's already been pre-seasoned. You don't want to add anything else. Yeah. So we're just going to cook that a few more minutes. And then we're going to check on those vegetables. On these vegetables, they're not doing much. So I'm going to add a little oil to these and see if I can get those stirred around and get them going a little more. And uh, so we can start trying to stir fry these. Okay, I'm going to add some oil to these vegetables. I would say this is probably about a fourth of a cup. Okay, and as you can see, the sausage turned out really well. Yeah, yeah, it turned out really well. That's exactly how you want it. And then you can just turn that off and wait until these vegetables start going. Okay, now we're trying to get the vegetables going. Well, yeah, we filled up that pot, so it's kind of hard to mix them around, but we're going to get them. Just take your time and just slowly keep moving them. They're going because you can see when the onions start changing colors, you know that they're cooking. But be careful or you'll have cabbage and everything all over the floor. Okay. So while this is in here, I'm going to add some seasoning like I was telling you to the cabbage. We are going to do that. Okay, and we're using the good old faithful onion powder as usual, some garlic powder, and some pepper that we've pre-crushed. So I'm going to go ahead and be generous with the garlic powder, which you can use fresh garlic too. So, you know, keep that in mind. And then I'm almost out of the onion powder, which we have uh, onion in it, but you know me. And then the pepper is going to be key to it also. And everything is to flavor. So when you're adding your peppers and all of that, you know, just if you're a pepper person, add a little more. If you're not, then add a little less. Or maybe you might not want the pepper. But I think the pepper just gives it a good flavor. And then, you know, some people that you cook for don't really do hot peppers like, you know, that flavor without the hot. So, you know, that's good. But we are cooking in Mexico. So if you're cooking for somebody that's coming over, um, you might want to put a little heat on it. Because I'm sure they would like that. But they can always add some chili to it if not. And we're just going to let that cook some more. And come back and get ready to mix the two and really get the stir fry going. Well, I decided to add some of the little tomatoes. Just to give it maybe just a little sweet flavor. So I'm just going to take these and cut them in half. And add these to it. Yeah, just slice them long ways. 
and then two is those cooked those so add a little liquid to the pot also okay and we're just going to put those in the mix well that wasn't very successful we had a lot of them fall into the stove <laughs> which we were able to retrieve them so that's good okay and we'll just put those in the pot added the little tomatoes to the mix now there's no water being added to this and this is why we want to keep an eye on it because we want the vegetables to cook but not to mush we want them to have a crispness to them and that always makes it nice okay when you see them getting like this and you see your onions turning clear then it's about time to go ahead and add your meat and you can go ahead and add your meat any grease or oil that's in there add that too because remember we haven't added much oil or anything so that'll add to the flavor. Now, if that's not enough meat, you can always add something else. But I wanted this to be more of a vegetable dish versus a meat dish. Just with the hint of flavor of that meat. And that's why we put a burn on it. So this is pretty much where I want it to be. Because like I said, I don't want the vegetables to go to mush. So at this point, you might cook it for a few more minutes, but you want to go ahead, get your piece out, see how your seasonings are going, and see just what you might want to add. I think I'm going to add a little bit more pepper to this. Yeah, I want a little bit more pepper, and we will add just a little bit of salt because we did not use any broth or anything and it's just going to need just a little bit but everything's to flavor like I told you before so make sure it's to your taste and how you like it I would say a half a teaspoon is all I'm going to add yeah if I can get it to come out of there there we go and I'm going to add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil okay and there you go so look in your fridge see what you got going on in there and see what you can add to your vegetable stir fry that'll make it your own and be something good and something different go ahead and try this out let me know how you like it in the comments Thanks for watching. Have a great day.